West Streeting this morning claimed not to know the details about Diane Abbott's return to the whip, the restoration of the whip to Diane Abbott was on condition that she doesn't stand in the next election. She confirmed it this morning, but it does make uh, the Labour Party look slightly disingenuous. And, of course, it draws a comparison between Sir Keir Starmer and Boris Johnson, who, as you recall, threw all those Conservative MPs out of the Conservative Party for defying Brexit. We need to get Brexit done. Uh, Now, I suppose if the Conservative Party would dare to voice the fact we need to make Brexit work or improve Brexit or just not talk about it. The fecal remains of Brexit spread across the living room floor. Stinking. There, there, There should be somebody, surely, in the present election who talks about Return. I know there's a party called Return UK. I've interviewed the uh, leaders of that party here on my channel. And I, w- I hope to be doing a series of Twitter or TikTok uh, discussions with people who, like me, think a return to the European Union is probably the only way of restoring success to our country after this mess Uh, with the paranoia of Brexit. Uh, We can have a closer relationship with the EU. That's certainly something that Keir Starmer is planning to establish, a better deal. But he rules out rejoining the EU completely. And I think... I think the progress of Rejoin UK, that party, uh, is probably is probably something to watch. It has it has more support at the moment than the Brexit Party than UKIP had when they began, and uh, and and I was certainly I I was certainly being encouraged to put my name forward as a candidate, but I think time is against me here. Uh, Starmer says that we haven't got freedom of movement. No, we haven't. And it's extraordinarily uh, inconvenient. He says, and we're not going back. I don't think that's the last word, because I think in the end, reality is going to hit the Labour Party as it has hit the Conservative Party, uh, that Brexit doesn't work. Brexit hasn't worked in Northern Ireland. It's taken every bit of Chris Heaton Harris's ingenuity to reconcile the Brexit we've got with the Ireland we want. Indeed, the only way to to, to, to really square that circle was to embrace some sort of Jesuitical uh, cloth and, 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 and approach the Northern Ireland border from a purely ecclesiastical um, approach. Reality needs to be filtered through the prism of divinity to get this to get this one to work because it doesn't work. It doesn't work. We need to live in another dimension to make Brexit work. Now, Boris may have lived in another dimension. Some people would call that the dimension of fantasy. Uh, He lived in Alice Alice in Wonderland world where his walls were papered with gold and the moment he looked at somebody, they would fall pregnant. That's fine. That's fine for Boris. It's not the real world, thankfully. And the fact that Boris lives in a world where what he thinks is true... Oh, get Brexit done. Oh, um, I, 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 I lie. I lie. Yeah, I, I lie when I can, because I, because I'm Boris. Oh, um, sorry, I've got the hairstyle to do to do with it. Uh, by the way, before anybody comments, uh, every so often I think, uh, every so often people add a comment and they say, "You're copying Boris. I'm copying Boris." No. Boris was 
Boris was after me. And I knew Boris in Oxford. And I'd like to think that my hairstyle, which has not changed, uh, is the influence on Boris, not the other way around. I have not copied Boris. I have been consistent and... Uh, my hair is the same as it always was, a little thinner and a little greyer, but it follows exactly the the same haircut and process that it followed when I was both at school and at university. And so I think uh, as equally, as equally what I wear. So none of that has changed at all. Um... And, uh, yeah, I think, um, I think we need, we, we need to look at Brexit or Labour needs to look at Brexit and Labour needs to recognise that there are now parallels between Keir Starmer and Boris Johnson, big parallels, and they are to be, um, they, they should be etched above the, above the poll, polling stations. Uh, probably with the names, Jeremy Corbyn, Diane Abbott. Expelled from the Labour Party for getting in the way. Ken Clark. The numbers are different, but the motive, I'm afraid, is exactly the same, isn't it? It's to get rid of the inconvenient and those people who the party thinks might cause a rumpus, a ruckus, a uh, ruption, <laughs> a mess, might cause a mess. But they're going to cause a mess anyway. And my money is on Jeremy Corbyn winning the next general election as an independent. Because who would vote against him?